Node.js is an open source closed platform JavaScript runtime environment. And you can go to the website node.js.org and you can just pretty much grab the, the latest version. If you want, you can grab the 18.12.1 LTS or the latest features. I would recommend for most users to grab the 18.12.1 LTS. Uh, this is for Windows 64. So we have the document documentation. We have the home page. We have the about about Node.js as an asynchronous event-driven JavaScript runtime. Node.js is designed to build scalable network applications and the following hello world example many connections can be handled concurrently upon each connection the callback is fired but if there is no work to be done node.js will sleep so i went to my folder programming js and um, i'm gonna go to this folder node.js uh, node EJS. So what I do is I right click and I choose open and terminal and from this point I type in code a space that and then presenter. What it's gonna do is uh, it's gonna open it in VS Code. So right now I am inside of my no PJS folder. I'm gonna clean it up with CLS and from this terminal or from the incorporated terminal right here in the VS Code, you can type in, for example, npm uh, double hyphen version to get what is the version right now. So I have npm, I have the 8.19.3. Let's see, node version. The no version I have the 19.1.0 so when it comes to I have the well it's not the latest but uh, what else what else you can also do npm space hyphen v and it's gonna be the same thing so you can see your npm your node uh, you can type just also node and then press enter. Welcome to Node.js v19.1.0. Type help for more information. You just exit with Control C. And uh, well, Control C again. So I have installed Node Node.js in my machine. <coughs> so right now we can we can copy. I mean to check it out. We can copy these commands. Just grab. We can go to new file and put a node, for example, that JS. Okay, and then paste them. So what we have here is const HTTP equal sign require in parentheses and single quotes HTTP. We end up with a semicolon in line number three const hostname equal sign and single quotes 127.0.0.1 we end in semicolon next line and number line and line four we have const we have the port that is assigned 3000 uh, it ends with semicolon um, there's a difference when you use one equal sign and when you use two or three uh, equal sign when you for example when you use only one equal sign you put counts for equal 3000 semicolon this equal sign means it's assigned to so the port the port number is going to be assigned 3000 then we have the cons server we have http that create server in parentheses we have the request response um, we're gonna use express in future videos uh, res that status that code uh, is assigned 200 same errands with semicolon 
uh, rest that set header open parentheses open single quotes content hyphen type uh, comma open single quotes text slash plain close parentheses clo uh, end up with a semicolon then we put res that n open parentheses open single quotes hello world then we listen server dart listen it's gonna be import comma host name comma open parentheses uh, arrow sign opening open curly braces cancel that log uh, parentheses server running at http colon double slash dollar sign open curly braces the host name calls curly braces colon open dollar sign and the port so for right now uh, do not worry about all this information I just want to give you like a little introduction um, pretty much this is in contrast to today's more common concurrency model in which OS the operating system threads are employed thread based networking is relatively inefficient and very difficult to use furthermore users or of Node.js are free from worries of deadlock in the process since there are no lags almost no function in Node.js directly performs IOs so the process never blocks except when the IO is performed using synchronous methods of Node.js standard library because nothing blocks the scalable systems are very reasonable to develop in Node.js if some of these languages are familiar, there is a full article on blacking versus non blacking, so you can go to that link and you can pretty much read all this stuff here. Um, for now, do not worry about all this information. There is a, a bunch of uh, JavaScript information about a bunch of Express, uh, HTTP modules, uh, but Node.js is similar in design to and influenced by systems like Ruby's event machine and Python's Twisted. Node.js takes the event model a bit further. It presents an event loop as a runtime construct instead as a library. In other systems, there is always a blocking call to start the event loop. Typically, behavior is defined through callbacks at the beginning of a script and at the end of a server is started through a block a blocking call like a band machine double colon run open parenthesis close parenthesis and as you can see we use the camel notation so me the camel notation means once we finish one word uh, the first letter of the next word when it's together we're gonna write it with uppercase letter so in Node.js there is no such start the event loop call Node.js simply enters the event loop after executing the input script Node.js exceeds, exits the event loop when there are no more callbacks to perform this behavior is like browser JavaScript the event loop is hidden from the user HTTP is a first-class citizen in Node.js designed with streaming and low latency in mind. This makes Node.js well suited for the foundation of a web library or framework. Node.js being designed without threads doesn't mean you can't take advantage of multiple cores in your environment. Child processes can be spawned by using our child underscore process that fork open parenthesis close parenthesis and you can check it out here too all those um, uh, modules uh, API and are designed to be easy to communicate with built upon the same interface is the cluster module which allows you to share sockets between processes to enable load balancing over your course